Hello there. This will be part two of explaining the DSG transmission, the DSG transmission in the GTI Mark V Volkswagen. I'm still in Tiptronic, as you can see, and I've showed you that you can upshift with the shifter or downshift with the shifter. It's very cool to downshift with the shifter if you like that feeling of actually moving your hand like that. But like I said, if you don't downshift, this transmission, when it reaches a low enough gear, will go down into the different uh, levels. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to switch into sport mode. So I'm going to bring this back to drive. And it shows it up there. And we're going to go into sport. And I'm going to signal. Now you can hear the sound of the, of the engine is a little bit higher revving, a little more output. And you'll notice that it does not shift until it gets at or near the red line. And that is in every gear. So the sport mode is not for casual driving. I actually saw a video once where an English bloke, nothing against English folk, I think English are great, but uh, he was an English bloke. And he was saying, well, actually, it's quite annoying that it, 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 it downshifts, you know, when, you, when you're trying to destroy Well, the sport mode, uh, hence the name Sport Jack, is that you are racing, brother. You're not driving home from the store with groceries. The sport mode is for aggressive driving. So you put into sport for launch control. Okay, that's the, that's the gear you have to be in. Now watch, we're at a dead stop now. We're gonna let them all get away. Okay, and then watch what happens when we catch up. What's amazing is this will downshift at 80 miles an hour. As soon as you take off your uh, foot off the accelerator, you'll downshift. So you can grip into the corner and accelerate more. Because when you downshift, you actually will go up in speed. I find that when I'm coming on an on-ramp, I'll go the maximum speed you're allowed and what's safe, but I gauge what the, the traffic is doing. And what I can actually do is is uh, downshift to third gear and man you get the acceleration you just you go by everybody it's amazing now this is the what was this the third of the four we one two this is the fourth way of shifting right first it was automatic then it was tiptronic then it was with the shifter okay now that was with sport now the fifth way is whether you're in drive or sport see sport although it is very aggressive is still an automatic gear so there's no need to touch the paddles there's no need to do any shifting at all but watch what happens when I touch the paddle. Uh, we'll watch when we, when we start moving. If I touch the paddle while we're moving, it'll switch instantly into Tiptronic mode, briefly. And if you don't interact with the paddles for a number of seconds, it'll switch back into just regular mode and it'll take over again. So that is the fifth and final way of shifting, is whether you're in automatic mode or, see, I'll go back into automatic. Turn that on. See, now we're just in automatic mode. This is not aggressive at all. Uh, but it is very zippy. People don't pull in front of you. But now, if I if I touch the 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 handle here, well, this guy's braking now for some reason. Yeah. But if you touch the, I'll wait till we get some room here. It's now fifty five. Watch what I'll do. We will keep it in automatic mode, but I will interact with the shifter. And it turned into Tiptronic, see? Look at that. And now, if I don't touch it, it's hit six gear now. If I don't touch it for a number of seconds, just let it go on its own. So I could downshift if I want by pressing the minus. Went down to fifth. You'll notice that the RPMs will go. If I go to fourth, it goes up higher. Now, what's what happens? Now I got more acceleration again, but I better watch my speed coming in. Okay, now if I don't interact with it for a number of seconds, we'll just let off the gas a little. Come down to 50 because that's what this is now. It will turn back into automatic drive mode. 
See, it still thinks I want to shift, see? So it's ready for me to shift manually, even though I'm in automatic. So see, you can temporarily go into Tiptronic anytime you want, because I was in D. Now watch what happens when I come to a stop here. You'll see it downshifting like normal, without me touching anything. And then it knows when to go back into the gears. And I'm almost stopped, it'll finally go to one. There, and it went right back to automatic mode. So now we're not too aggressive. Just regular automatic. But I'm gonna go aggressive a little bit. I'm gonna go to Tiptronic again. Okay, and we're just gonna do zero to 60. No big deal, it's 55. We'll see what we got here. And that'll conclude my lesson. If you do not own the Mark V, you don't know what you're missing out on. And for the people that are naysayers, they go, oh, you're not really shifting, man, unless you have a clutch, unless you grab the shifter and hold it. I can do anything I want. I can grab a shifter if I want. I can use my paddles if I want. I can just go in sport mode and kick your ass that way. And to tell you the truth, if it's good enough for Formula One race car drivers, it's good enough for me, brother. So to each his own, you shouldn't put down people. You know, if you'd like to have the manual transmission, good. I think this is the most versatile transmission, the most high performance transmission, and a very affordable car there's ever been. Now, here we go. How do you like them apples? That concludes my test and my lesson of the DSG transmission and the GTI Mark V by Volkswagen. Sehr gut!